In today's Gospel, Jesus performs the second of seven miracles in the Gospel of John. He returns to Cana, where he had turned the water into wine. There he encounters an official whose son is very ill. Fearing his son would die, the man begs the Lord to return with him and heal his son. Jesus tells him to go and assures him that his son will live. Jesus remarks, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. He was asking the people to have faith without the need for physical proof. To put that degree of trust into someone by faith alone can be frightening and sometimes overwhelming. We have all had the same spiritual challenge put before us, and trust does not come easily. Anytime I read this story, I am reminded of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. As parents, we are happy when our children trust us to know what is best for them. Our trust in the Lord is no different. He is pleased when his children rely on him and have faith that he will keep his promises and help us through any trials and tribulations that we encounter. That degree of love and devotion from us always makes him smile. We, still encounter situ we will still encounter situations that cause our faith to be tested, but we are to place our trust in God. Lent is a great time for us to renew and strengthen our trust and faith in God. This is one of the greatest gifts that we can give Him. He will always love us and help us through anything, no matter how big or how small.